So if we take a look at this one, we need to figure out which one has a lower, which one has a lower y-intercept. Okay, so let's take a look at that. The easiest one to start with is the graph. So we're going to start with right here. Okay, that has, that is f of x. All right, so now we need to find g of x. So g of x, we're going to, going to need to expand out this into standard form instead of vertex form. Okay, so we start by expanding that out. So we have negative x minus 1 times x minus 1. And then don't forget about the plus 4. So now we distribute, or we FOIL this out, first times the this one. So we have x times x, which is x squared. Okay, then we do 1 times x and negative 1, so I get negative 1x. Now I go to negative 1, distribute it, and I get negative 1x, and then negative 1 to negative 1, and I get positive 1. Combine our middle two terms, since they are alike, so we got negative 2x plus 1, and then x squared. But this negative sign outside, distribute that through, okay, and you get negative x squared plus 2x minus 1 and then add the four. We combine these two and I get plus three. So negative x squared plus two x plus three. And so we see that our y-intercept for g of x is three. But f of x is negative five, which is lower than three. So f of x has the lower y-intercept.